Here's a quick video on how to use a staging area. Uh, once you're logged into my.kinsta.com, I've given you access to the speckled palette, so jump in here. And then you'll see up here to the top right, there's a change environment option here. Live, you'll see these green live you know, tags everywhere. And then staging. So this is how you create a staging environment. Clicking this button will copy the live site, the speckled palette, uh, over to the staging area. It takes a few minutes depending on the size of the site, but then you have uh, backups for the staging area, redirect rules, all the error logs and everything as if it's a fresh install for the staging site. Once that's done, you'll notice the SFTP credentials are here. Uh, they're actually the same as the live site except for the port, so that's the difference. Note that I've sort of screwed that up thinking I was logging into the live site or staging site when I was actually log logging into live. But then jump over to domains and here is the URL um, at this temporary address, staging the speckled palette.kinsta.cloud. Log in with the same you know, WP admin uh, login credentials, that hasn't changed. Um, and then you've got backups, so you can create these manually, right? Uh, when you're ready to push to the live site, I think you can do that here, push staging to live. And then if you're done testing, like if you were just playing around with a plugin or something, delete the staging environment, uh, which is totally fine. It'll just clear it and then you can create it again, just like you just saw. That's all, you, know, you just delete it and wipe it clean, essentially, create it again, and it'll copy the live site over. Okay, I hope that helps.